Hello, everyone. I'm Tae Kim from Korea University. Thank you for coming here to Reason Hour. Um, today, I'm going to talk about our papers, um, DBUS, Device Driven Sideshow Attack on the IOMMU. Um, modern printing system virtualized is physical memory for memory efficiency and process isolations. This means that every address in, within the process is virtual address. To translate this virtual address to physical one, um, processor utilize MMU and it includes TLB that still recently used address translation from multiple processes. This, uh, this kind of shared research among processes have been a source of sidechain attacks like TLB. These attacks mainly focus on the leaking the victim processes memory access patterns. Uh, recently, uh, operating system have expanded its memory virtualization to include devices, uh, allowing them to utilize IO virtual address, IO, IO virtual address to, for the Americas instead of physical address. So modern processors are equipped with IOMMU and IOTRV to facilitate address translation for IO virtual address. In this work, we focus on the IOTRV, which is a translation cache for the Americas. Um, contrary to previous work, our attack target a share, share resource among multiple, device, uh, multiple devices, not processes. Uh, in order to create contention in the IOTLB, we propose two attack primitives with GPU and ALI, and based on these attack primitives, we, we can observe the victim device's memory access patterns through the IOMMU. Um, the IOMMU is originally introduced for hardware assist IO virtualizations. Uh, with the IOMMU, each VM can achieve native IO performance, and it also provides strong isolation of VM and protection to DMA attack. Uh, to support this feature, IO virtualized address spaces are allocated for the PCI devices, and the IO MMU translates the IO virtual address in DMA request to physical address. Let's take a look at how the IO MMU translates the IO virtual address in DMA request to physical one. Uh, whenever a DMA transaction occurs, the IOMMU looks up the IOTRB with IO virtual address from devices to find address translations. Uh, if there is a hit in the IOTRB, the device can directly perform a DMA transaction to the desired physical address. However, if there is a miss in the IOTRB, the IOMMU is required to perform IO page table work to retrieve the physical address. We focus on these properties that the latency of DMA requests can vary depending on the status of the IOTRB. Um, to exploit the IOTRB as a source of sidechain attacks, it is necessary to have knowledge of the architecture detail on the IOTRB. But um, these details are particularly unknown. So we conduct reverse engineering on the IOTRB in our Intel processors by utilizing on-core performance monitoring unit. Um, the reverse engineering result shows that the IOMMU has two separate IOTRB depending on the page size. And they are set associated cache with linear mapping hash functions and perfect LRU for replacement police. Uh, this knowledge makes it possible to create contention in the IOTRB with PCI devices. For example, with the normal page, uh, we found that the address with 1216 to tribal of GMA requests determine which set the uh, address translation information will be located in. So if the GMA requests from the attacker and victim share the same IOTRB set index bit, uh, it can create contention on the IOTRB. Based on these observations, we propose two attack primitives with GPU and ALI. Um, in order to observe the status of the IOTRB, it should be possible to create elaborate DMA access patterns through the PCI devices to fit on IOTRB set. Fortunately, in PinnBand Verb and Kudalan Time API, we can initiate GMA requests by controlling IO virtual address. And the ALI is designed to transmit a GMA transaction to the limit machine through the RDMA network. We use the ALI driven primitives for limit time attack and the GPU for local time attack. With these APIs, we implement prime based epic phase technique. However, when using GPU driven primitives, it cannot perform an epic phase attack. Uh, this is because, unlike the ALI, the memory region for DMA requests cannot be shared among GPUs. Oops. Uh, in the following explanation about the attack primitives, we mainly focus on the ALIC based prime primal attacks. Um, the fir first step, uh, in the first step, the attacker finds an IOTRB set by issuing multiple GMA transactions which have the same IOTRB set index bit. And the number in each IOTRB entry indicates the order allocated to the cache. In the next step, the attacker waits for a while. In here, we assume that the victim device perform a DMA transactions and in Epic, they are firstly allocated IOTRB entry from this set due to the replacement policy. And 
let's take a look at the probing style, focusing on the probing sequence. Um, if the attacker probes the entries in the same order as they were primed, the probing, probing process encounters eight misses because the IO cherry adopt perfect LU replacement policy. However, if the attacker probes the entries in the reverse order of the prime sequence, the probing only experiments one miss. Here is a description graph of our two attack primitives. It shows that the timing difference on the IO therapy is about 10,000 cycles. It means that we can clearly distinguish the victim devices' memory access patterns by using GPU and Ali. And furthermore, in case of Ali, uh, we observe that the exploiting the replacement policy of the IO therapy is resulting on approximately six times higher timing difference than not doing so. So based on these attack primitives, we demonstrate two practical attacks. The first one is SSH keystroke timing attack with GPU and local attack scenarios. Um, the SSH protocol is vulnerable to keystroke time attacks because individual transmit packets are directly related to the keystroke event from the SSH client. So let's take a look at how could we info the keystroke event from the client through the IOMMU. Uh, whenever the NIC receives a packet, it performs a DMA access to the link buffer in physical memory. Since the DMA access look of the IO therapy, it leaves footprint on it. So by observing the IO therapy with GPU-driven primitives, we can observe individual transmit packets. To demonstrate this attack, we ver the first step is to identify IO therapy sets associated with link buffers. Uh, for this, we perform a long-by-long experiment. While the attacker observed the entire IO therapy set with GPU every single round, the client sends some packet with distinct patterns. For instance, the client sends packet only for the first third rounds, and the next, next round, the client does not send any packet for the next third rounds. Um, this hit map shows our experimental users, and the bright colors implies it takes long latency to observe the set. Um, as the IO therapy C0 only has distinguishable patterns, we think it means that the DMA access to ring, ring buffer always touch the IO therapy set 0 In the next step, we prove the identified IO therapy set to info the interrupt time of the receipt of packets. Um, here is an example of our traces from the GPUs while the world notebook is being sent from the SSH client. In this figure, we can see some clear spike according to Nick's memory access patterns. Um, it means that our attack can input the keystroke event from the SSH client through the IOTAB. Um, next, uh, I'm going to discuss about a website fingerprinting attack with Ali in a remote attack scenario. Recently, uh, modern browsers have taken advantage of hardware acceleration to improve the performance of the web rendering processes. So let's take a look at how web browser renders a web page with GPU and how could it observe the GPU's web rendering processes through the IOMMU. Uh, when we visit a web browser, uh, website, uh, the browser first retrieves some files such as HTML, JavaScript, CSS uh, from the web server and it constructs DOM object. With this DOM object, the browser determines the style and layout of the web page and then the browser divides web page into tiles and offers each tiles to GPU for rasterizations. Uh, in here, the GPU routing process issues uh, some DMA transaction to the device memory, leaving DMA access pattern on the IOTAB. Um, as these, these patterns are clearly different according to shape or content of the web page, we can info the visited web page by observing this unique pattern on the IOTAB. Following this idea, we first click and probe the status of entire IOTRB during the web rendering processes. Here is an example of traces from the entire set with Ali. We can clearly see that the each website leaves distinct patterns on the IOTRB. Um, by using these traces from the IOTRB, we build a deep learning based uh, classification model with HTTP ARSTM. And when we choose top 300 website from Alexa top 1 million site, the accuracy for top 1 is uh, close to 95%. It means that our attack can, uh, our attack is successfully observe the GPU's memory access patterns through the IOMMU. Um, so how can we mitigate our attacks? Um, the first one is building anomaly detectors. Similar to previous work for CPU-based sidechain attacks, 
Um, hardware events related to the IOMMU can be utilized to develop long-time detectors. And as our attack caused a lot of DMA transactions, which increased um, IR table lookup or IR table hit events, this abnormal behavior can be easily detected by the detectors. Second one is randomizing the IR table philosophy. The basic idea is that upon a miss, the IOMM uh, will fill an IOTF entry with a random address translation instead of the desired one. So the article cannot construct eviction set, which is necessary to develop, uh, deliver our attack. So uh, we would like to conclude that our attack can observe the victim devices memory access patterns through the IOMMU. To achieve this, we propose two attack primitives with GPU and Ali. And we demonstrate practical attack on IOMMU enabled machines. And finally, we propose some mitigation against our attack. Um, for more details about our work, please level to our papers. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Very cool work. And do we have questions? Uh, yes, thank you for it. Your presentation, I was wondering how does this relate to previous RDMA-based attacks on particular on cache contention? Because from what I remember, they did a very similar SSH timing uh, side channel, and I was wondering if you looked into this, if, for example, this attack is not available anymore, or? Um, it means, uh, you missed the uh, comparison with NACAD attacks. Naked is audio based attacks that con create contention on the RSC. Yeah, I mean, if that type of attack has been uh, mitigated and hence this would be, let's say, a valuable alternative, or if it's still available, if this provides comparable performance or. Uh... Um, honestly, we did not compare our, um, our performance of the uh, keystroke time attack with. Uh, NAC had a lot of papers, but our attack is focused on the IOMMU. It is Nobel microarchitecture compost in the uh, underneath of the RAC. And um, uh, all the uh, PCI devices shell the um, IOMMU. For, so many kinds of uh, combination of the attack is possible, such as our attack is um, attacker utilize the GPU to info the next memory access patterns. Do you have more questions? No? Well, then, let's thank Taehun and all the other uh, speakers in the session for a round of uh, great work.